What's up everybody? So there's a new documentary out on Netflix. It is called Worst Roommate Ever and one of the episodes is about Yusuf Qatar. A little back history on him. He previously served in the Royal Danish Navy. He was discharged at the age of 28 for fraud. He was later convicted of attempted murder of a woman in Chile, of which he only got a, it was about a 600 day sentence for the attempted murder of that woman. He was arrested in 2009 for fraud, arson, embezzlement, and forgery, but he did not appear at his 2011 trial. Now everyone is asking, where is he now? Uh, his last known sighting was in Denmark in February of 2022, just before the Netflix documentary aired. All of the source material is linked in the description below, as well as the blog about him that is talked about in the documentary as well. That's where this next bit of information comes from. It states, according to the latest news received on this blog from different sources, which may not be 100% accurate, now because they are relying on trusted information from other people, what they know is, he left Costa Rica in 2019 and was in Nicaragua. He was in prison in the capital from September to December 2019 and then was extradited back to Denmark. After spending three months in jail in Denmark for pending charges he hadn't yet faced, he returned to a school for adults in 2020-2021 to finish his incomplete education. The school was located at AAB. E-N-R-A-A, -A. no idea how to pronounce that. He changed his name to August Erickson, and the teachers and students knew him by that name. There, he was known for being a good student, charming, smiling, taking care of everyone. But when a student claimed he got scammed by Yusef, suddenly he was transferred around August 2021 to another school with no explanation. The school is located in another town called Frederica, where he has been living since the documentary on Netflix was released, which was really recently. That is all of the news, the current news they have on him. Um, this other blog, uh, this other website, RadioTimes.com, states that in December 2015, Texas Monthly reported that he was going by the name of Yusuf uh, Maria. Two years later, on January 10th, 2017, the Costa Rica Star reported that he had been arrested on suspicion of committing massive fraud in the country. However, the Tico Times wrote that he was released shortly after. The media has not reported any developments since that time on this particular site. So that's the newest update and it states that he was living in a town called Frederica until the documentary aired. Now he could still be living there or he could have moved on because a lot of people might be recognizing him from the documentary. So that's the newest update. If you see anything new Post it in the comments below. I'm definitely going to keep following this case to see if any more news pops out about this guy now that he has been made famous worldwide on Netflix, on the documentary. We might get a lot more sightings of this guy and some more news. Hope you're all having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.